What up, YouTube? Asian Persuasion here, and today I'm here with my boy Kyle Lewis, the Cyber Dragon God. You guys already know. You know people are gonna get sick of me. No, I'm <laughs> never sick of saying the Cyber Dragon God, Kyle. All right, you're our Cyber Dragon God, okay, Kyle? That's a personal opinion thing. They can say it however they want it, but this is how I say it, okay? Oh, fly got your ass. <laughs> but today we have a special profile for everybody. Everyone wanted to see the new duality in your Cyber Dragon deck, and I believe that's what you're about to profile for. So, that, am I right, Kyle? Yep. And uh, also, we got this big shout out to our boy, you know, who gave shout me this mat. Out, shout out to Carmiar for giving me this for giving me this mat. Yeah, look, Kyle got the the nice new Cyber Dragon custom mat as a gift, y'all. You see that? He's the real Cyber Dragon god. Can't beat that. <laughs> so shout out to him for hooking you up today for that. That's awesome. I love this thing. Heck yeah. <laughs> So, initial thoughts on duality in this deck? It, it kind of gave you some cool nicks and tricks in there, you know? I love it, but it's still technically not what we need. We need more, like, in-deck in, in deck, um, consistency. Yeah. More ways to search out the names and stuff like that, and a link one would be nice. Yeah. Oh, that fly. Get, 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 get it, Kyle. Kyle getting these flies out here. <laughs> um, he's too quick. All right, Kyle. Let's go ahead and just jump into profile, and at the end, you kind of show us a really simple, basic combo with duality or something. You know, nothing crazy, but sure. <laughs> the possibilities of you know of the card. All right, let's let's go. Let's get it, Kyle. Let's see it. I mean, the deck's pretty standard. It's like what three, three of the Cyber Dragon. You might say it's standard, Kyle, but to us Cyber Dragon fans. They, they love this stuff. They, they're about to build your deck for Nats, Cal, and they're gonna theory on the comments with you, and yeah. they're gonna make this deck the best deck in a week and make it win Nats. Trust. As long as you know what you're doing. <laughs> hey, see, Cal believes in y'all, Cal. My boy Cal, you already know. I mean, people would do, I mean, there's better ones out there than I am. I don't know, Cal. You're, you're our fave, though. <laughs> Yeah, but still, three is a standard if you're running the machine to build. Or if you're just, like, going on Clockwork Knight, you kind of want to draw that. That's the easiest one. Yeah, Clockwork Knight's an FTK. And then, of course, three core. Pretty much the pretty much more like the bread and butter. If I see that card, I'm dying. And then three hertz. Hell yeah. Two Noxter. Still the one veer. I'm still using that because I still like the attack points. It's a level four. It's also an additional pop with the cybernetic overflow. Is there any cool lines with that in duality? Not in that specifically, huh? No, not with that one. But the if other you one. are actually, if you're playing the Cyber Dark build, Cyber Dark Nightmare becomes Armory Armor. Ah, uh, see, if people want to see that version, y'all can make Kyle make that version one day, and he'll show it to y'all. That's still glass cannon, no matter what. It's still a glass cannon. That's a fun deck, though, right? Because we all know that ain't gonna compete against real decks. Right. <laughs> At least catch tier right now. And then the honorary Cyber Dragon, the two soldier. I still prefer two over three. I just. Like I said, two is fine enough for me. And with duality, you can like uh, now actually get it off the field to prevent it from getting infirmed and stuff like that. I'm sure somebody already tried to infirm that and you chained duality and their life I ended. Did. Their life ended, right? <laughs> they died. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and then three, just a Q, is just outs problems. Helps me out problems and sure I have having three ensures I see it at least against Kashira because I can distribute the Arise Heart around the board. Mm -hmm. Not to mention this dude's huge. That he is. And then I'm not running it, but if you also, but if you're gonna commit, if you can get like a light level ten on your field, you can summon Ally of Justice, Decisive Armor. Oh yeah, with the duality card. Yep. I remember that synchro back in the day. So technically, if like you can get two of these and you can summon one on your own, you can actually duality into Decisive Armor, and you have a light type on their full, on their field to get the effect off. Yeah, and armor's like 33 attack or something, right? 30. It's 3,000 yep. plus. 3300. Yeah, it's 3300 attack, 3300 defense. Jesus Christ. I remember that synchro. <laughs> but that's all, but like I said, if you if you're gung ho enough to do it. Yeah. You got to find the space in your extra day. And then like I said, because you attributed this on their field, attributed one of your own, you can activate the effect because now you have a light <laughs> because they have a light type. That's true. And then three ash blossom. Nice. And that rounds out the main deck. But like I said, I don't run either one. I don't run the decisive armor. It's just an idea. Yeah. See, that's what the theory is for. Cal, they're going to help in the comments about more combos and stuff. You can also, also you can run Axel Synchro for like a possible Baron play if you want to go that route. Oh, uh, yeah. Baron and Cyber Dragon would be crazy. For the spells, three emergency. Pretty standard. One Cyber Repair Plant grabs everything that emergency can't. One rest system and one cyber low fusion. A cyber load always be killing them. And then three clockwork night. 
This is like the best card in the deck still, right? It is. Like, like this. This is the board clear without being a board clear. <laughs> this with du this with a Cyber Dragon and Duality, it would be an OTK. So basically the three cards, you're gonna kill them almost every time. Yeah, but with three cards though. Yeah, that's three card combo, but it's guaranteed pretty much. And then speaking of which, duality itself. The brand new card. Tell us about this, Kyle. How you feel about it? Still, you said don't help the consistency, but it's still nice to have, huh? It's still nice because it it adds to it, but it's not like in deck consistency, which is what we need. It just helps you dodge around random things. Like it helps you burn. dodge stuff. Yeah, or if they're like attacking your monster, you can switch it out or something. Yeah. Some crazy stuff. Yeah, like, I, I could show a few combos off on that. Definitely. Well, everyone already knows them, but still. Three Machine Dupe. Hell oh, yeah. The God card, I guess right? Some, well, some people were... I was thinking of trying without... And other people in the comments are like, yeah, I do read the comment section. Yeah, you hear that, guys? He reads. <laughs> like, they were thinking of... They were... They were wondering about... Well, some people were, like, against me signing, putting it, taking it out. Like, I kind of saw it as, like, an extra card, like, an extra win more. But when it resolves, you win it. But when it resolves, it's good. Oh, it's like I can't, I can't disagree with that. When it resolves, it's good. Yes. The biggest ash bait in the game. <laughs> no, I thought emergency was the biggest ash bait. No, we never ash emergency. Or wait for the was the biggest. I'm ash waiting bait. for the. I'm waiting for the dupe against you, no matter what, Cal, because I know how game ending it is. Like I've seen people, I've seen people literally ash the core just to get hit with machine dupe, and they die. And then the one foolish burial. Yes, more cyber dragons. Because once again, guess the names. And then for the traps, one cybernetic overflow and three infinite impermanence. Nice. Perfect 40. Clean 40, I love it. Love to see it, Cal. Love to see it. Looks nice and consistent. And then for the extra, two Nova, two Infinity, and one Zeus. Yes. Very standard as it get. And then, of course, the two Fortress, the Mega Fleet. The Rampage, Eternity, because not only can you use it through Cyber Low Fusion, you can also summon it through Duality. Yes, the Mega, Fleet. the Mega Fleet. See, that's crazy. Those are the same levels, and they're different light and dark. And then, of course, Twin for the win. I've which seen is that really the out. case now with the Fortress and Duality. Oh, did we forget to mention that Chimerita can be recycled with your Clockwork Knight with the Duality Plate? Oh, that it can. That's crazy. So you're pretty much playing multiple Chimera Tags that on top of everything. Yep, and then Relinquish Anima, Simon Grand Omarash, Link Rebo. I had Sky Striker Ace Azalea and I took out the Link Rebo and I played the Dino. And then and I died because I had a field of tokens I couldn't get rid of. So Link Rebo staying again. It, it's never coming out. Them dinos be real out here. I'll, I will try and find, in the one Zeger, I will try and find a spot for that Sky Striker against Azalea because it's also really good as well. Yeah, it's nice spot removal. It is nice spot removal. And it actually has a decent, like, attacking effect, which is crazy. <laughs> like I said, I ran into the dino deck when I least expected it, and yeah. that hurt. Because that seems like the only cuttable card, I'll be honest, the Link Reel, but then you go against our locals, you get dinos, and then you're sad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah. Because nothing is ever the same in all locals. Yeah, you always get you got wrecked by something else every other time. And then for the extra, put the Pankatops in the side. Three. Uh, Joel and Lockbird, because the deck, there's still a lot of decks to do a lot of searching. And then, here's a little theory. The three Inspector Border for going first. Yeah. Because at least, like, depending on what you know what they're playing, you can actually cut them off of their mind. You can cut them off of their monster effects. Well, they wouldn't expect the floodgate when they let you go first, to be honest. <laughs> Basically, because they're trying. If they know you're playing Cyber Dragon, they're probably gonna make you go first. Which is something that happens a lot. <laughs> but sometimes you're gonna have no choice but to go first. Yeah. And against Branded, that could actually be pretty good. Oh, against Branded, nice. Unless they open Branded Fusion, but what are you gonna do? They gotta have it. They have attack over it. Yep. They don't have an effect. <laughs> they just have to go battle true. phase attack. <laughs> Also true. Two cosmic cyclones. I kind of want to run three, but kind of want to run three, but I don't want to run that many. So I figured, hey, it's like just quick play for the anti spell, quick play for the anti spell and all that. And of course, you got the harpies and the two lightning storm for all around destruction. 
Mm -hmm. And then for the traps, dimensional barrier. Yes, because God knows you got to stop those branded players and all these other players doing all these crazy things. Well, branded, sword soul, and all that. Yeah. All right, so let's see some of these quick, super basic duality targets that, you know, you don't have to name all of them. Just like the super simple ones, you know, so people can kind of see it. You, you might kind of explain some of them, but let's see you duality for, you know? So. Okay, what's duality? Let me see this. And yeah, this is one of the super basic ones. Basically, I'm just going to put them like on a side by side. Yes, I like These it. These two can become this. So this tree becomes this tree. Yeah, so if you special summon, you can either special summon or like you can special summon him, use the effect, and if, like gets impermed or whatever, you can change duality, go into this, still search out mm. the soldier, and then use the effect to mill like hurts and whatever else. If you, you haven't like discarded it already. Yeah. And then, like, get back Core or Noxter or whatever. And then, no, like, no. if you make Infinity, you can just detach, resurrect Hurts, overlay for Infinity, reattach the Hurts, and then use Duati's engrave effect, shuffle back the Mega the Rampage and whatever light. See, that's insane. That's a nice fairy basic on right Or if you haven't used the soul, if you haven't used the second soldier, you can shuffle this one back and have another search. You know I'm safe. Hell yeah. Congrats again, bro. Yes, sir, brother. Yes, sir. Oh, no See you, Rick. Hell yeah. Also, shout out to Rick. He's our head judge. Yeah, our boy. Love you guys. Let's go, baby. Love you guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and then... Or if you have... Actually, this is probably the most important one. Yeah, you gotta show them. I know the one you're about to show. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. My Clockwork Knight. Lots of Cyber Dragon. Go Chimera, Tekko, whole board. Even just one makes a... Makes a 2500 rampage, uh, makes a 2500 mega up. Uh, I'm saying all of them but the one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm saying all of them but the one I need. Uh, attack for 25 and then duality for twin dragon who attacks for 33. And that's lethal. Who attacks for 33 each. So, so even with just one monster, you just kill them if they don't have any other interaction. Basically. Yeah. They have to have an imperm on their open board on your twin, <laughs> which feels bad. <laughs> and then there's also the case of like the Mega Fleet on the field. Like you can attack with him, duality into like eternity for defense, and the effect will be active because you have a fusion now in your grave. You have a fusion machine monster in your graveyard. True. You also uh, couldn't this be a cyber end too? It could also be end dragon if you're running that route. Yeah. If you just want to go for pure attack power. Fair enough. But I, I do kind of like this card because God, people. Who, Trying to kill this card is not fun. Yeah, because defense <laughs> is so big. It's a 4K butt, but so is, so is Cyber End, but this is a really cool combo right there. I like that combo. And the fact that it just shuffles back, Lion Dark. So if they ever get over this, you can literally just shuffle these two back and just do it again. I mean, it gives you a nice grind game, and it doesn't... This this card helps you not lose because you only played one of this card anymore. Yeah. Or something, you know, because then you can be like, well, if I get to the grind game, you can just throw back it with you the duality. You can do it again. And you're drawing cards at the same time, so it's like kind of crazy. Yeah, that card's nice. Yep. All right, Cal, any shouts you want to give or any uh, other other comments you want to say about the deck for people that are trying to play this and that's because that's why I'm uploading this for the fans. Make sure you're really skilled with it. <laughs> <laughs> Learn all your combos before. Learn your com know your combo trees. Yeah, because these trees kind of get complicated, I'm sure, in a long tournament. <laughs> You'll start forgetting stuff. Because, like, I mean, in the right hands, like, a tier 2 deck could be a tier 1. In the, could feel like a tier 1 in the hands of the right pilot. Definitely. And we're not going to see you at Nats, Cal? All right, so for all the people, before they ask me at Nats, hey, we're going to North Carolina this weekend. Yeah, that's too far for me. Yeah, it's 19-hour drive from, from where we live, so... Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 too far. For sure. All right, Kyle. Well, anybody who wants to help out with that, comment down below because our boy Kyle does read everything and he does like the criticism of anything, uh, you mm -hmm. know, ideas, yeah. good, any, bad, whatever you guys want to say. Any ideas to bounce off of would be nice. Heck yeah. And then you guys can make this deck the best deck and compete with everybody and, and then, have fun. But like I said, if you're playing the Cyber Dark package... You can turn, like I said, you can turn that Cyber Dark uh, Chimera into Armory Arm and attach it to a Rampage. And then you can extra, ram all of these extra cards for into For extra damage if you want to go that. Facts. Well, all right. Um, for shout-outs, shout-outs, pretty much everyone at the locals. Hell yeah, are our local peeps. 
who all turned out for the cook who turned out for the cookout here over at the Pink Elephant. The Fourth of July. For the Fourth of July cookout. Yes, this is the fireworks that we're sending oh, to the YouTube. Oh, it's gonna be maddening when we get home. <laughs> gonna be I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> Neither am I. Yeah. I'm gonna be shooting all over the place. You're not wrong. Well, happy 4th of July to you, Kyle, and then to all of our viewers. And we appreciate you for the profile. And, and you have a happy 4th, my friend. And you all have a happy 4th as well. Thanks, Kyle. We're signing out with that. Peace. Peace.